These five project manager interview questions are what I answered to pass my project manager interview and land my job as an engineering project manager. Download my project manager interview question cheat sheet completely for free at alvinthepm.com slash interview so you can ace your project manager interview the easy way. Here's what you're going to learn in this video. I'm first going to share with you the interview question and then I'll break it down in bite-sized chunks so you'll hear my personal interview tips for when I had to go through dozens of interviews to land the project manager job. And then I'll share with you my own personal answer. As you go through this video, please leave me a comment down below. Which interview question do you struggle with the most and which one was the most helpful to you? Let's build a community, let's learn from each other so we can grow in our careers and earn the income that we deserve. The first question is tell me about yourself. I can 100% guarantee that almost every single person from the recruiter all the way up to the hiring manager will ask you this question first. This question is meant to break the ice because they genuinely want to know a little bit more about you. If you've already made it to the interview stage, this is the question that you want to sell yourself and give your mini elevator pitch in less than three minutes. Don't give your entire autobiography here and definitely don't talk about anything which is not related to the job. If you're applying to be a junior project manager for an electronics company, this isn't the time to talk about how you were a musician or how you used to work as a bartender. Instead, give a brief introduction of who you are and dive right into your experience and start selling your personal brand to the interview. This type of question is not tricky and it's a really great starting point for the interviewer to get to know you and to dig even deeper. So I personally recommend structuring your answer by highlighting different experiences throughout your entire career and highlighting the skills which are directly related to the job that you're applying to and then finishing it off by stating how you're the best fit for this role. Now here's how I would answer this. My name's Alvin and I graduated with my engineering degree from the University of California, San Diego. I'm a certified PMP project manager and a professional scrum master with over 10 years of project management experience with implementing agile and waterfall projects in the software, hardware, and product focused domains. For my time at company A, I've managed new product launch initiatives, and I've led a global team of more than 15 team members to launch our product to market on time within three years with a budget of $1 million. My experience has grown to manage an entire program of more than 10 complex mechanical design projects. I love leading and motivating teams towards a vision, overseeing projects from the beginning to the end, and that's why I'm so excited for this opportunity as a project manager. So the key here is to practice your answer to this question over and over again until it rolls off the tip of your tongue really easily and you don't stutter, slur your words, and you don't speak too fast. Again, keep this less than three minutes total. The second question is, what skills make you a great project manager? Someone who is a little bit new to project management might just talk about all of the hard skills and what they learned from studying the PMBOK guide. And they might say, I'm really good at planning and organizing all the details of a project and putting together a very robust project management plan. I'm extremely hands-on with using Microsoft Project and I know how to manage our budgets using earned value analysis. Unfortunately, this type of response is not what the interviewer wants to hear from you. Can you see how I only talked about hard skills such as creating a plan or using a software tool, but I didn't even mention anything about the people or the leadership side of it, you want to set yourself apart from other candidates. And the way to do that is not to reset the skills that you learned from the PMBOK guide, but to focus on the human interactions. You want to emphasize skills around communication, motivation, and leading people on your team. Trust me, the people who are interviewing you they know that there's a huge gap between what's written in the PMBOK guide, all of that theory, versus what actually takes place in a real world project. And that difference, that difference is the human element. Here's how I would answer this question. 
What makes me a great project manager is my drive to connect with others and to really understand who each person is on my team. I want to better understand who I'm working with so I can better motivate them and lead them towards accomplishing our goals. Since I'm no longer the person doing the physical work itself, I like to spend my time talking with my team understanding what issues are arising and how I can help tear down the roadblocks so they can do their work even more effectively. While it's great to have a plan in place, plans do change, and I found that it's so much better to be able to sit down with my team and have that transparent communication with them so we can accomplish something that's even bigger than us. And that's moving everyone towards one goal and one clear vision. The third question is, why are you the best person for this job? You'll often hear variations of this question, phrase like, why should we hire you? Or why are you the best candidate for this position? And the key to standing out here is not to recite your resume line by line or to talk about your technical expertise. This question is where you need to shine. Let the interviewer know that you are the best person for the role and you wanna say it very clearly and very confidently. Focus on how your professional experiences in the past have shaped you to be the best fit for the role and how you can deliver value on their team. Here's an example of what I would say. I am the best person for this role as a project manager because of not only my technical engineering background, but also my proven track record with leading cross-functional teams to manage projects for launching new products to market on time and within budget, which have all generated more than $1 million to this date. As a project manager, even though I have the word manager in my title, I completely understand that it's all about being able to lead others without having that formal authority. And over the years, I've learned to craft and refine my skills and building relationships with those around me and with leadership, as well as communicating and understanding who the team members are on my project. It's very important to me that I spend the time getting to know my team and motivating them so we can create the best and highest quality product that meets what our customers are looking for. So in my answer here, what you wanna emphasize is the communication aspect and being able to lead other people. Remember that as project managers, we're not the ones who actually do the work on the project. We don't create any of the physical, tangible deliverables. So instead, you lead a team to do the work. So it's very important that you emphasize this and that you create the schedule, the plan, and all of the requirements by getting everyone's input. If there's any specific projects that you want to highlight, then I recommend also talking about a key accomplishment from that project and how you can bring that value to this new role. By the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. It truly shows your support and it helps the channel out tremendously so I can make even better videos like this. All right, so the fourth question is, what is your greatest weakness? This question is a trap and it can be a downfall to your interview if you don't know how to answer it correctly. So don't make the mistake of saying that you don't have any weaknesses because everyone, and I mean everyone, has a weakness. The hiring manager probably has decades of experience and they're going to call you out on it if they sense that you're lying or you're not giving a truthful answer. So the key to standing out here is to actually just be honest with yourself and open up. Look at your previous end of the year reviews from your past managers and review the feedback that you received. For example, were some of the areas that you need to improve where they focused on getting better at doing presentations in front of large audiences being able to have a work-life balance, having a tendency to focus on the details, or not knowing when to ask for help. These are just a few examples, but something to really consider and expand upon. Now, here's how I would answer this. A weakness of mine is the tendency to focus on the details and not to see immediately the high-level picture. As an engineer by trade, I love understanding what's involved with the work and what it takes to get something done. I enjoy solving problems and learning more about the technical details. As I've grown in my career, I've learned to step back and see things not just at the task level, but also at the higher 100,000 foot level where the entire project's vision is, how this integrates with the overall portfolio, and how this has an impact on the business needs. 
I understand that there is a fine balance between the two. I'm always learning from my experiences and I'm finding ways to grow and improve myself as a better leader. In my response, did you see how I flipped the negative trait into a positive one? And did you see how I focused the last part of my sentence with how I'm continuously improving and developing myself so that I can be an even better leader? That's the way to stand out with this question so you can build that rapport with the interviewer and open up about one of your actual weaknesses. No need to make it too complicated, but emphasize how you've learned from it and that you're always looking to grow and improve upon yourself. The next question is, tell me about your past experience at company A. You're going to be asked this question if there's a role or an experience that stands out on your resume that the interviewer wants to learn more about. And that's one of the big reasons why you want your resume to be as polished as possible. Whatever you put on your resume, you need to have a compelling story that you can articulate to the interviewer that showcases your skill, the result that you brought to the organization, and how this experience makes you the best fit for the project manager role. To stand out, Put yourself in the shoes of the interviewer. They're looking to hire the best person for the role. So be very confident in crafting and telling your story and make sure to sell your personal brand. It's your own personal story that will build that connection with your interviewer. And once you do that, you can articulate how you're the best person for this project manager role. Now here's how I would answer this question. I worked as an engineer at company A where I managed projects to launch new products to market. I was extremely hands-on with prototyping, building, and testing the designs that would be used by our customers. Since this project was very instrumental towards building our company's portfolio and revenue growth, it was very important that I communicated and drove collaboration with our entire internal team and also with our external vendors. One of our biggest risks was delays with procurement of parts and assembly of our final product. We mitigated this risk by always having open communications with our vendors and having risk mitigation plans to ensure that parts with long lead times could be substituted with alternate components. With an aggressive timeline of two years and a budget of $250,000, I was able to lead our team to launch our product on time to market and within budget. This is an example of how you don't need to have a previous title as a project manager to apply to jobs in project management. All you need to do is demonstrate examples where you use project management skills such as risk mitigation, resource management, or schedule management. The key thing to emphasize here is whichever example you use, make sure to articulate how you're the project lead, showcase your leadership skills, and that you're driving everyone towards achieving the same vision. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I have a bonus interview question for you. How do you handle conflict with the team? When you're a project manager, there will always be conflict and the hiring manager wants to know, how do you handle it? Do you have previous experience dealing with these situations? And do you have the people skills to tactfully navigate through these conversations? You don't wanna say that you would avoid the conflict. As project managers, we need to jump on the conflict quickly to resolve it. We don't want it to escalate or become more severe because at that point, it may negatively impact the team's morale and significantly derail our project's success. So my recommendation to you is that you discuss that a conflict is never what it appears on the surface, and there usually is a much deeper underlying root cause. If the conflict is tied to an area for your project, then talk about how you use an issue log to follow up and address that root cause. Now here's how I would answer this question. As a project manager, I like to be proactive and I directly approach the conflict to help resolve it. I do my very best to understand everyone's viewpoint and to drive collaboration with everyone so that we can make the team even stronger. I understand that the conflict is only at the surface and there's a root cause that's much deeper than this. So I'll step in and I'll speak with each person to understand their story. I'll act as a facilitator and a mediator to better understand the root cause of the conflict and brainstorm how we can work together to find a solution that meets everyone's needs. If this is tied to an area in the project, I'll use an issue log to follow up and address the root cause. 
The goal that I always strive for is 100% collaboration so that the conflict does not appear again. So with my response here, you can see that the goal here is to act as a servant leader where you facilitate the conversation and you find ways to uncover what truly was the root cause which caused the conflict. I do wanna emphasize that you want to have a collaborative approach so that everyone wins and you build a safe and trusting environment for your team. Now to help you pass your project manager interview the easy way, download my interview questions and answers cheat sheet completely for free at alvinthepm.com slash interview. I go over all of these interview questions and so much more in this free guide. So download it at alvinthepm.com slash interview to get started. To learn how I switched careers from engineering to project management, watch this video next and I'll see you in the next video.